Hi guys, this is Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for <laughs> the collective. <laughs> All right. So we're going to ask, what is the holdup? <laughs> what is the reason your person is not or has not arrived yet? What is the reason your person has not arrived yet for the collective? Hmm. They haven't walked away yet towards their fruition, which is number nine. Goddess of the Moon, this is about a new relationship blooming. This is about having faith. Let's see here. And one more. Uh, and they know this is going to be a big change because this is going to be a caring connection with you two. Right now, they are all tied up. They must be busy doing something here. Maybe we'll find out with Tarot. And after Tarot, after we are done with the Oracle cards. So, all tied up. Now, this may be worried about you. Let's see. What is the action this person can take to move this forward? Just having that diligence about what they want, I feel. And maybe this all tied up is kind of tongue-tied or being a little shy, I feel. Openness. They're wanting to be open. So why aren't they coming forward? Ah. They need to release and be in solitude to heal, it looks like. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, then they'll take action. Look at that. <laughs> so they may be healing something after they've released or walked away from someone. Right now they are kind of having to do the healing before they come forward. What would be the reason f be from your person? What reason will they give you for not coming sooner? For not coming forward sooner? What will be the reason they give you? Mm, they need it to be balanced, which is true. Yeah, they maybe weren't able to come forward for a particular reason here. Well, why can't they come forward? What is the reason with this impath, impasse? Ah, they're needing to have a bit of a lesson here. Some growth is going on here. And I feel like this is definitely to do with self-worth. What they're wanting for their heart's true desires. Let's see what's on the bottom. Wow, there's some type of creation here that we're going to see. Mm. It has to do with some insecurities as well that they are needing to... This is what the growth is all about, which I, I did say um, growth in knowing their self-worth so creation i feel like they're realizing that this they are created for a certain purpose here and everybody has a purpose and i feel like they may know what that might be now they've learned about insecurities though jealousy maybe other things that were going on here they weren't able to come forward until they learned this lesson okay what is the next question how will this answer impact you well you might be wanting to stand your ground with this person depending on what this is all about <laughs> Uh, you may have had to sacrifice this person or this person had to sacrifice you. And there's some patience and planning that was taking forth here. We have 7127 or 737. Those could be numbers you could look up. We have 9755 as well. Let's see here. What's on the bottom of the deck here? Material and spiritual prosperity. <laughs> so 7376. Okay. 
So it looks like somebody had to sacrifice something here. They've been planning something. They're going through spirituality, their material um, prosperity. They may be getting gifts or, or have blessings coming in here. Okay, so what actions will this person take to show you this union is genuine? Well, they'll let you know that you do deserve love. You are lovable. You may already know this. Because I feel like you may have done your work already, collective. Mm, this may feel like you've known this person before. This may be a new person. But this also could be someone from your past. It could be this lifetime or the last or at some point in your life. It could have been all the way through. Yeah, this is a new love. <laughs> a new person has stirred your romantic feelings like you've known them all your life. It'll be like, where have you been all my life kind of feelings. And give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. What do your passed over loved ones, your ancestors, say about this union? What does your ancestor think? Ancestors think about this union. Ah, that you've been really patient. That you know it happens in divine timing change that this will that you understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement things changing what else mm. adversary I accept the challenges our best way to learn so I feel like with the adversary this could have been who someone else here tying up your caring connection from coming in they may have to learn this lesson with this particular person. And this particular person, I'm kind of feeling, didn't really care for you too much. Didn't want this person to be with you. What else? Yeah, there may be, have been some guilt here with your person about not maybe coming forward sooner. Hmm. They may have judged you unfairly or this other person judged you and yeah there's going to be happiness though spirit says you're going to be really happy with this person or your ancestors are saying this your angels spirit guides whoever you're connecting with now let's see what is the outcome for you what is the outcome collective for the collective and this person. What is the outcome? Ah, there may be a fork in the road here. Hmm. Somebody needs to be more flexible. So we have four. The fork on the road is about number four, being stable in your own right, I feel like. Being flexible, um, with this person and this ending that they're going through or if you ch if you decide to end it let's see yeah you're needing to be fair so this is number 11 this is your angels ancestors and spirit guides having that balance i feel like which what are you going to choose be being fair to yourself i feel like yeah, this is, you are blessed. So this is a blessing. This is 22, your ancestors, angels, and spirit guides coming in. Ascended masters. So we have four, one, one, one. We have one, three, one, nine. We have one, nine, three, eight. We have three, eight, two, two. We have four, one, one one or two two four one two two yeah and have a look and see what does come up for you yeah there's going to be a change in the wind it's gonna it's gonna be kind of unexpected things are just gonna come in and um, it's just gonna be there or this person's just gonna be there now this may be somebody you've 
met briefly, maybe talked to, uh, could have been, you may not have known this person at all until you meet them this time around. This may be when they meet you, they may know that you are the one. They're going through some hardships right now, and they're finding a way to become single, I feel, and I feel like you just happen to walk into their life at the right time. Let's see here, collective. Now, take this as a however it resonates. They may have walked away from you to start a new relationship that they thought would be a caring connection, and things changed in this relationship, okay? This is for some of you. They needed to be diligent to release this and be open with themselves when they were in solitude about what they truly wanted, what their true heart's desire was in order to take action. I feel like they're trying to balance things. They didn't want to come forward yet until um, they got through these insecurities. There was some growth here and there may be something they want to create with you. And I do see some guilt here because whatever belief they had about you possibly, if they were the one to walk away from you, is that they may have judged you unfairly. You may have been patient and they treated you like an adversary. And now they want to change things to be happy with you. Things will be different. There could be a new cycle here with this new love card. And you may be standing your ground with your boundaries in hand. You may know that they had to sacrifice you. And you've been patient in planning your own life with your material and spiritual prosperity. With this outcome, I feel like you're going to have to make a, a decision. You're going to be... Try to be flexible with your time to get to know this person a bit um, from whatever you're doing for work. You're going to try to be fair with giving enough time to this person. You feel like you're blessed. And this, this change in the wind here was number three. And this is about growth, groups, and creativity. So there may be something you're going to create together which will be kind of unexpected. So somebody was schooled here. They were schooled or they learned something that they were, maybe how to grow their money independently here. They had a financial blessing come in. They wanted to come forward with this new perspective that they had because they feel you are a sweetheart. Very nurturing, loving, caring. So it looks like they may have a different perspective about you. They've learned some things. There's a change about the way they see things now. What is this diligence, release, openness, solitude, and action? Yeah, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor here. Yeah, you may be um, waiting for your ships to come in here. You may have had to release this person. Yeah, you're good all on your own. Yeah, and you've got courage. We have a couple major arcanas here, which is kind of saying that this is kind of big. A big step for you. This could have been you that was insecure, that you needed to learn some things. Yeah, there's some planning your seeds here. Somebody hasn't come in yet, though. And the reason for that yeah, they may have been working on their money or there was somebody they were with that had money, maybe was financing things. What's stand your ground? Mm, those are those boundaries. Somebody's coming in slow and steady wins the race. Wow, you are their ten of cups. And there's marriage here. Wow. What's this change in the wind here? I'm blessed. Ah, oh, yeah, that equal give and take. Now, what is your intuition telling you about this union? Mm, that this maybe can be healed. 
then the stars, maybe you're getting that healing yourself or guidance from spirit. You have hope and promise about this. You have faith. I feel like this could also be um, public recognition. Maybe you have your own platform or something here. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay, we're not looking at what people are thinking. We're only looking at the upright, but anything on its side this way is what they're thinking about for me. And I, I want to know what they're doing, not what they're thinking. So we're not doing on the fence today. So what is the schooling about? What are they getting schooled? Yeah, to learn to handle their own burdens and not carry everybody else's. Yeah, there is love here. <laughs> what is the wheel turning for you? Yeah, you may have had a painful choice to make. Something that was that you had to release. And I feel like you have the courage and now you're waiting to see what's coming in here. Let's get one more card. Wow, marriage is coming in. Spirituality is coming in. Could be traditions are coming in. You could be very traditional in your own sense from the way you grew up. What is this Queen of Pentacles? Hmm. You are a business person. You may be creating your own wealth. You may have been learning about your finances here. You maybe had to walk away from somebody that you thought might be that might be a caring connection. I feel like you're learning to love self. You maybe loved this person but had knew you had to release them. You may have even been married to this person. Kind of getting a couple different things for people. So take what resonates for you. Are you doing your self-love or this person is? Ah, uh, this is the king of swords that is doing their own self-love. They may be um, materially successful. Financial success or being resourceful reliable this is somebody that is all about truth this is about stable confrontations or confronts things to see if they're stable maybe or truthful very serious and intelligent pretty reasonable too has that authority towards themselves like that Authority, uh, authority that they give off like they are a boss of some sort or has a lot of self-confidence what is this knight of pentacles wow this is going to make somebody happy here this looks like you they may have had to sacrifice you or you had to sacrifice this person yeah something came to light here oh <laughs> You had, they got caught in the act, maybe lying to you or not giving you what you're looking for. You knew this person wasn't the right person for you. Something came to light when they brought this in, it looks like. So it looks like you might be granted a new love with this ten of, pen, uh, ten of cups here. Yeah, you might get messaged from this new person. Yeah, you may have felt... This person may have felt like you were in poverty. Maybe they didn't engage with you for that. Yeah, they may have walked away from you. They have some guilt about that too. Maybe judged you. What is this hierophant here? Oh, this is a king of pentacles. Now, you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, but you're also showing up as the Ten of, or the Queen of Cups. You could be the Empress here. So, this King of Pentacles, what is with the Hierophant card in this King of Pentacles? Mm. They may have had a lot of anxiety about coming forward. They're trying to feel like they're not bound to anything or having to be in this self-imposed prison that they put themselves in here. Yeah, 
they're ready to fight for this. They're, they feel like they're in a good position of advantage here uh, towards everyone else. Yeah. They may have felt like they had an empty victory. Oh, look at that. The Five of Wands. Okay. So they may have had conflict conflicting opinions, too many choices, some type of struggle or competition for them or with someone else for you, I feel. Because with the seven of wands, like this is about, this is all against all odds being in that favorable outcome here. And then it has to do with somebody feeling like they didn't win. It could have been a competition between two friends, a King of Swords and a King of Pentacles. What is your intuition saying about all this? Mm. You have a different perspective of certain people here, I feel. And I kind of feel like you know who is who in this. Let us see, when will this come in for you? When are we looking at, what, what are we looking at here? I'm feeling collective. I felt this before and I've said it before. I feel like it is September-ish, August, September, October, somewhere in there. Sagittarius, okay. So it could be November, October, end of October. middle of November, nine months, nine weeks, find a new meaning. So two, three, one, one, you may be seeing a lot of one, two, three, two, three, one, 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 two, one, two, two, one, one, two. Um, plug in some of those numbers there with the nine at the end of them or Put in 999 and see what comes up for that. Let's see, what does Sagittarius say? Sagittarius is find a new meaning, right? Reflecting on remaining things. Be understanding to yourself and others. So that's very beautiful. You may have Sagittarius as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Let's see. Libra, you may have Libra in your chart, or your person could be a Sagittarius or a Libra. Enjoy your time, seven weeks, seven months. So seven to nine months from now, seven to nine weeks from now. 2309, 2310. And we have 777 you could look up as well. And let's see what Libra says. Enjoy your time, celebrate leisure satisfied, good opportunities, joy, if not this, may be a settling to someone. Oh. So someone may be settling or you may be settling with somebody here if you don't, depending on who you choose here, if you take back the past or if you go with this new person. What's on the bottom of the deck? Nine. Something comes to an end. So you will choose one or the other. And I feel like you're looking um, for your ten of cups here. Somebody's going to feel like they had an empty victory. Somebody's going to feel like they have a position of authority. And there is a competition between these two people. And it may involve marriage. Whoever this is. They have saw you as an adversary or they had somebody in their energy that was an adversary to you. They may have known you, maybe know of you. We have 999 again. Nine days, nine weeks, and then nine weeks, nine months. Something comes to an end. Number nine. Old comes to an end, new can't be seen just yet. So we do know this new love is coming. We know maybe why they're hung up 
um, having to walk away from a caring connection or walking away from someone else in order to have a new connection that they know will be caring with you. They're doing some healing work. They may have to make a decision about a marriage here. They may be already married. Or you could have been married to this person in the past. They have insecurities. They want to create something. And they weren't allowed to come forward until they did the work. And I feel like they had to have some type of truth here. They wanted to plant some seeds with you. They were a long time coming to come in because the guilt they felt about this getting caught red-handed. And this comes to light. You're standing your ground against this person. You may have felt like this person was just coming back around because they didn't have a lot. Maybe they were in poverty. Maybe they were coming back just for money. But you walk away from this person. Maybe they're money oriented and you're all about love. Yeah, something has to come to an end for this something new to come in. Now maybe this person hasn't come back just yet. Or if they have, this person's still needing time to do the work here before they come forward. So take it however that resonates for you, collective. <laughs> Alright, I do want to look at number seven. Seven was fruition to your manifestations. Just be patient. And we had seven, nine, nine, and that was it, right? Yeah. And then we did Libra and Sagittarius. Okay. Alright, collective. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you haven't done so already. <laughs> Um, thank you for watching the video and there is a free reading coming up. I will be picking that on the 10th if you want to get into that to see if you can win. You can go on to my channel in the community tab. Click on that tab. It will show a post on exactly how to come to win this $140 valued free personalized video reading just for you all right and if you don't want the reading and you win it you can always gift it to someone else there are conditions though you will have to have permission from the person you want to gift it to they have to want the reading first of all <laughs> and they have to be okay with you giving me their name and their email so I know who I'm looking for because I won't be reaching out to them. They will have to email me. So if you want to gift it to somebody, there is always an option there. So, all right, you guys, take care, stay blessed. And, oh, and if you do want to donate, you don't have to. Um, but if you do, um, people are still asking about that. There is a description box below. Just click on the more. You can scroll down a bit. There will be a PayPal link there you can click on and it will take you right into the PayPal account. You can also do the super thanks as well. And I am thinking about opening up private readings for September. So if you're into doing that, I have certain... Um, readings that I will be doing. Uh, some will be from 30, 50, 75, all the way up to $140. So, and that would be for the full hour reading. So, in any case, I will have that in the description box come September. Um, if you're interested, just let me know. I, I kind of want to know what I'm looking at uh, for how many people are wanting to get these videos and these free readings and pay for readings for the private readings. So, all right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we will see you next time. Later.